Okay, okay well, let's, let's focus on um, a bit more mobilising. Um, and we will go back a bit to basics on a neutral spine and on moving um, so that we're not aggravating the back. So we've got to make sure that we're bending at the hip joint here all the time where the leg comes into the hip and try to get straighter, try to keep the, keep the bend, the waist from bending too much is really what you've got to, what you've got to be focusing on. Sorry, did you get my WhatsApp that I may, may have to leave early? Yes. Fine. That, that's fine. Right, so hold on behind your knees and have your knees a bit bent. And just pull yourself up forwards onto that middle bottom. <clears throat> so pulling with your arms, pulling your tummy button <clears throat> towards your thighs. And pulling your breastbone up to the sky. And then just open your chest by pulling those shoulders back. Keep, you can keep your hands on your, on your knees here. Pulling the shoulders behind you. And take your chin up to the ceiling. Push that chin up high and stretch through the front of the body. And then release your knees and then round your back. So we round it. So we're doing the cat and dog stretch sitting. And we take slide our hands under our knees. Pull the tummy button forward towards the thighs, push the breastbone up, squeeze those shoulder blades together, breathing in, breathing out, release those legs, round yourself full, well, round yourself, stay, stay vertical, so we're just arching back. Now I'm just going to slide my hands towards my feet, so I'm still in that arch back, rolling forward. Bend the knees a little bit and pull onto the front bottom. So you, you really try to close this gap of the hip. So Jane, really try to pull forwards more so your tummy button's coming towards your legs more. <clears throat> and stretching through the back of your hamstrings. And then just gently try to push the right leg down a bit and then push the leg, left leg down a bit and then both legs down a bit. So you're straightening those legs. And then lifting yourself up nice and vertical again. And this time, put your hands on the floor behind you. So if you lift your elbows up to your shoulders and you swing your arms, and then swing your arms back and drop them down so that we can really get that arm behind the body and the chest forward. And then pushing, so we're lifting, so my back's really straight, pushing my chest forward, tummy button towards my thighs. Take the chin up to the sky. Breathing in, breathing out, squeeze those shoulder blades together and then resting on that middle bottom, hands on your legs and then we're going to roll down to the floor. So one at a time, one vertebra at a time. So pushing out with that lower back, so we're rounding and mobilising the back. Slowly, I've got my hands on my legs, slowly going all the way down to the ground and then take your arms all the way over your head. Push those fingers away from the toes. Breathing in, breathing out. Bring your hands all the way up to the sky. Bring the right knee in towards your body. Take hold of that right knee and then bring the left knee in as well. And then just lift the tailbone up off the floor and bring the knees in towards the chest and then release. And then bring the tailbone up off the floor and then release. Keeping the shoulders down, bring the tailbone up off the floor. And then release. Take your arms out like a scarecrow. And then drop your knees over to the left hand side and turn your eyes to the right. So push your hands away from each other. Turn your eyes to the right, dropping those knees to the left. Pushing the hand, left, the right hand away, pushing the right hip away from the right shoulder. And then bring those knees up and drop them over. Drop them over to the other side. And again, just adjust your body. So you try to get the knees on the ground, the underneath legs flat on the floor, and you keep the shoulder on the floor. So turn your eyes to the left. So you're looking at that left hand. Pushing those fingers away from each other. Pushing that left um, shoulder away from the left hip. So you're stretching through that back. And then bring those feet back up. Sorry, knees back up. And drop them over to the left again. 
and pushing those hands away from each other, keeping those eyes towards that right hand, keeping the legs down towards the floor. Breathing in, breathing out, lift those legs up and then drop them over to the other side one more time. Pushing the legs down, push the fingers away from each other. And then bringing those knees back up to central. Bring those arms back, grab hold of your knees and lift your tailbone up off the floor again. Lift it up once, lift it up twice three times and then bring your nose up to your knees as well so you're curling up and then release so you put your feet on the floor take the arms over the head stretch those fingers away from the toes and then bring the arms all the way up to the sky chin into the chest roll yourself all the way back up hands on your legs reaching forward so soften your knees Soften your knees, put your tummy button to your thighs and then roll. And can you get forward onto your front bottom or Jane? So you tilt that pelvis, tilt the front bridge of the pelvis towards the floor. It's just my hamstrings kill me. Bend your knees up a bit more. Okay, reaching down and then sitting up nice and tall. Sitting up nice and tall, pop those hands on the floor, lift that chest up, breathing in on the out breath, push the chest and tummy button forward and take the chin all the way up to the sky. Bring your eyes to horizontal, put the left hand on the right knee, right hand behind, lift and turn towards the right. And then turn yourself the other way, right hand on the left knee, left hand behind. Breathing in and on the out breath, lift and turn to the left. And then come back to center. Grab your roller. Grab your roller. So, to start with, we're just going to do what we normally do just opening the body up over the roller. So, I'm going to have my knees bent, lean my elbows back on the roller, and then rest that lower rib on it. Breathing in. On the out breath, take hold of my head and my hands and stretch backwards over that roller, letting the chest come up to the sky and then bring the chin into the chest and lift myself up. Good. Move the roller up a little bit. Breathing in on the out breath, lowering. So if you want to keep the top of the head upwards, but you've got to get your shoulders down. And then bring your head back up and sit back up. That's good. Excellent. And move that roller up one more time. Taking hold of the head. Ease the body backwards over the roller. Breathing out. Lengthening the body. Breastbone up. And then sitting back up. Okay, lifting the bum off the floor a bit. Move the roller the full length of the spine. Sorry, the full length of the ribs rather, not the spine. So we're going up to the shoulders and then all the way down to the bottom ribs. And then we lean over to the left a little bit. And then we come back to center. And we go over to the right a little bit. And then we come back to center, lengthening the body. Nice and long. Okay, then rest your bum on the floor. Lift yourself up and turn yourself onto your right hand side. We're just going to move the roller so it's under the armpit. And we're just going to roll through that armpit on the right hand side. Yep, so I'm on my side, but my arm is level, is parallel to the long side of the mat. My spine is parallel to the long side of the mat. And then I just roll that roller through the shoulder blade, right the front there on the side here, through that armpit. And then just rest your bum on the floor. I keep the roller on the armpit and just roll the body forwards 
and roll the body backwards, just through that armpit. So that we're just getting a bit of tension released of those knots and things through that shoulder. Now just lift yourself up and move the roller down to my bottom rib. So I'm, I've moved the roller down. So we're skipping out the sort of bra strap area if you've got an underwear bra. Come to the underneath of that and just roll forwards and backwards there. So it's in the base of the shoulder blade. Good. Just go forwards and backwards there. And then roll backwards onto your back. Move your bum around, get back into the, onto your back, take hold of your head and just do the length of that upper back again. And then rolling over onto that, or lifting yourself up and then laying over on that left side. So you put the roller in the armpit to start with. So we just roll up and down in that armpit area. Rolling forwards a bit, backwards a bit. through that area and then stop and just rock, rock yourself forwards and back. And then lift yourself up with your elbow and, and physically move the roller to the bottom underneath your bra strap area. And that's the bottom of the shoulder blade. And then we just rock forwards and back, just do some little sort of circles with your body as you just move that roller a little bit through that area. Okay, rest your bum down. Sit yourself up, move that roller out of the way. Okay, sitting up nice and tall, rolling those shoulders back, lift those elbows up high, let those arms swing back, put the hands on the floor behind you, about a foot behind. Fingers are pointing towards my bum. Loosen those elbows, pull the elbows together. And then push those elbows straight and lift the head up to the sky and the breastbone up to the sky. Come on, take your hands a bit further back. Good, breathing in. Uh, and can you take yours a bit further back and try to straighten those elbows? Breathing out, push the chest forward. Push those heels into the ground. Clench with the bum and just lift your bottom off the floor a bit. So we're resting on the hands, pushing the chest up high and then lower down. So you're getting a stretch in the shoulder. Breathing in on the out breath, push the chest forward, push the arms to straight, lift that bum up. Good. And then lower down to the ground. Okay, one more time. We lift the bum a bit higher. Breathe in on the out breath, squeeze with the bum. Lift it up, see so if you can get it level with your, yep, yeah, and then down. Okay, lengthen the legs on the floor here, tighten your knees, push your thighs into the floor, pull those shoulders back, push off the hands and straighten the arms, clench the bum, and you push the heels down, which lifts the hips up. So my legs are straight. Good, Jane. Tighten the thighs, lifting up, and then lower. Good. Push off those fingers. Come up to vertical, let go of your hands, put your hands on your legs and roll yourself forwards. Roll yourself forwards. Good, sit yourself up nice and tall. Hands out to horizontal, breathing in on the out breath, rolling all the way down to flat. All the way down to the floor. Put those hands beside you, palms up. Slide your fingers under your bottom, roll the shoulders up to the ears, into the floor, pull them down, and then push those elbows into the floor and lift that chest up off the ground. So we're lifting the upper back up, so pushing the elbows into the ground, making those shoulder, shoulders stay down and back. We're not lifting and having them um, be like a tent pole with the uh, flesh hanging down. We're pushing the chest up between the shoulders. Breathing in, fill the lungs up with air, stretch the ribs, breathing out, squeeze those shoulder blades together and then release. Pull the left knee into the body, pull the right knee in, hug those knees, lift the tailbone up off the floor. 
and then put the arms by the side on the floor. Lift those feet up so that your knees are 90 degrees. Breathing in on the out breath. Tap that left, that right heel onto the ground. Bring that right leg back. Take that left leg and tap that left heel on the floor and bring that leg back. Tap that right heel onto the floor. Bring it back. So make sure you're in neutral spine. All of the ribs are touching the floor. Go with the left leg, tap the heel, bring it back. Hold the feet here. So our shoulders are up to the ears into the floor, pulled down. Pushing those fingers down towards where the feet were. Slight lift off the lower back. Take the right foot down, touch it on the floor. Take the left foot down, touch that on the floor. Extend the right leg out straight on the ground. Drag the right leg back in. Extend the left leg out straight. Drag the left leg back in. Take the right leg out straight. Keeping that neutral spine, bring that right leg back in. Take the left leg out. So I've got my feet just on the floor, sliding them out, sliding them back. I want to challenge further, I lift that right foot off the floor, take it out straight, bring it back in, take the left leg out straight, bring it back in, lift that, leave that left leg in the air with the knee above the hip, take the right leg out straight, again it can be on the floor or off the floor, bring it back in, take the left leg out and bring it back in. Take the right leg out, bring it back in. Take the left leg out, bring it back in. Take both toes down to the floor so they're just touching the floor. Take both legs out together on the floor, pushing them on the ground and then pull them back in. If you want to advance that, you can lift the legs so they're off the floor, but you mustn't move your spine. Legs go out, legs come back in. Your spine has to stay in neutral. Any pain or discomfort, and you need to put your feet on the floor. Slide both feet out. If you get it with both legs, going backwards and forwards, return just to one leg. Pull those legs back in. One more. Keep those shoulders relaxed, down and back. Keep that neutral spine, all the ribs are on the floor. Lower back slightly lifted. Extend both legs out. Draw both legs back in and lift the feet up off the ground. So we've got the knees above the hips, knee, uh, feet are, uh, and, and the joints 90 degrees. Cross your ankles over, lift those feet up a bit higher and lift the bum up off the ground and release. Lift the bum off the ground and release. Lift the bum up and release. <clears throat> Lift the bum up and release. Lift the bum up, release. Slide those fingers out to 90 degrees, uh, sorry, arms out to 90 degrees like a scarecrow. Drop both legs over to the left. Stretch, turning the eyes to the right. Bring both legs up and drop the legs over to the right. Eyes to the left, stretching. And then bring those legs back up. Extend your legs a bit straighter. This time you're gonna take your legs halfway over so they don't, go, they don't touch the floor. Take the legs to the left, eyes go right. Bring the legs back up to the center. Drop them over to the right, eyes go left. So we push off the right shoulder when the legs go right, push off the left shoulder when the legs go left. Bring the legs back to center. Drop the legs to the left, eyes go a bit to the right. Bring them back up. So you take them as far as is comfortable, but you've got to stay in neutral spine. Go over to the right with the legs. And then bring them back up. Soften those knees, bring your hands over, hold on to your legs, bring the knees into your nose, head off the floor, hug your legs, breathing in, breathing out. Take those the head all the way down to the ground, bring the arms over the head, 
and then take those legs and touch the toes onto the floor. Bring those knees back in, bring those arms back in and hug your legs, hold up touching your feet with your hands. Yeah, straighten your arms, Jane, put your feet down towards your hands, down towards your feet. And then taking the upper body down with the arms down and then take the lower body down and touch the toes on the floor. And bring the knees back in and bring the upper body back over, touch those feet. Good. Breathing out, take the arms all the way back. Now take those legs out straight. <clears throat> Breathing in on the out breath, bring those legs back into the body. Bring the arms back over and touch those feet. Chin up if you can, mum, head off the floor. Yeah, and then upper body down, feet down. So you unravel to straight into neutral spine lengthening and then you control and draw yourself all the way back in knees back in hands back in head back to the knees good and then you unravel and go out to straight arms go over the head legs go out straight head back on the ground neutral spine ribs are down <clears throat> keeping that core drawn in bring those legs back in bring those arms back over the head hold on to the feet one more of these, opening yourself up, reaching out, and then curl yourself all the way back up. One more, holding yourself here, and then opening, take those arms, uh, arms out over the head, legs out straight, breathing in on the out breath, bring those fingers all the way up to the sky, rolling up. And reaching towards those feet as we sit up, reach down towards the feet, bend yourself forward, bending at that hip. So soften the knees, that's it, pull forward onto that front bottom, pull forward onto that front bottom and then release yourself up nice and straight, put the fists on the floor behind, open those arms up, push that chest forward and get a nice straight back. Breathing in, push the heels onto the floor, tighten those knees, breathing out, lengthen the legs. And then release on your front bottom. Bring your arms up in front of you. So trying to so soften your knees if you want, Jane. Get your body vertical. And so we're going to slide forward. So we, we're leaning 45 degrees forwards. Test up, mum. Shoulders back. And then up to vertical. And then leaning backwards. Yep, and then coming back up and leaning forwards. And coming back up to vertical. Grab your stick. Grab your stick. So let's get those shoulders back and down a bit more. So soften the knees. I don't mind what happens with your knees. I'm focusing on your shoulders. So I do get the legs straight, but we're not worrying about that at the moment. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, up to the sky, pull them down. Bring those arms up in front of you. Bring that stick back to your chest, your elbows are behind. Push that stick forwards nice and straight. So when you're forward here, try not to reach forward with your hands and bow your back out. So you can do that, reach forwards and stretch the, back, the muscles of your back. And then keep your arms straight and pull your shoulders back. Yes, good, good. Right, the shoulders live there. Take the stick straight up over the head. Bring the stick straight back down in front. Get the chest up. Bring that stick straight up over your head. Pull it down behind your head, touching your shoulders. Get the chest, chest open. Get the chest open, push that stick straight up over your head again. Pull that stick down in front. Bring that stick back up. Put it down behind you. Bring, pull those shoulders and hands backwards. Lower your elbows if you can, Jane. Push the chest up and try to take the hands away from the back. Pushing them backwards. Oh, Lord. Breathe oh. in. 
Push them backwards. Push the stick up over your head. Bring it over in front. Okay, let's rest the stick on the floor. Let's do a bit more stretching of the chest first. So put the hands on the floor behind. Loosen those elbows. Open that chest and push forward. Push forward. Lifting up that chest. Lifting yourself back up. Put your hands on your legs. Roll yourself all the way down towards those feet. Sitting back up into neutral. Swing your legs around and come onto your tummy. So actually come onto all fours first. So come onto your hands and knees. The knees are under your hips, hands are under your shoulders, middle fingers are parallel. Feet are parallel with your, uh, or your shin bones are parallel. Pull the knees apart on the back. So you're engaging your glutes. Turn the inside of the elbows forward so you engage, engage those shoulder blades. Push the head away from the tailbone and lengthen. Breathing in, breathing out. Turn the tailbone down to the floor, push the back up and bring the eyes down. Turn the tailbone up to the sky, bring the tummy down, bring the eyes up. Turn the tailbone down, bring the back up, bring the eyes down. Bring the pelvis into neutral, so push the tailbone away. And then glide yourself back over so your bum comes to your heels and come back up. Glide yourself back so your bum goes over your heels and come back up. Glide yourself back so your bum goes over your heels. And then come back up. Slide your hands forward and come down onto your elbows and then slide your knees away and come onto your tummy. <laughs> so, um, take your arms out into that pitchfork position and we're going to bring, leave the left arm there. I'm going to bring my right hand next to my chest, elbow in the sky, and I'm going to turn my eyes to the right and then bring my right knee up. So I'm laying on my left side more than my right side. My right side's off the floor. I lift my, with my hand and my knee to lift my right side up a bit more. So Jane, you're tipping onto your side. So tip to face, tip, you do it to face, okay. Yeah, swing around the other way. So you've got your left, your right hand is on the floor. So I'm lifting, I'm in the recovery position. My left shoulder is back and down, and I'm feeling a stretch through that left shoulder. Oh, crunchy. Oh. Yeah, so lift it, just lift up um, to an appropriate height. Don't lift up till you're <laughs> in agony. You just lift up so that you feel the stretch through that left shoulder. Now push that left arm into the ground. So you take it to a place of stretch, and then you engage the muscles by trying to push the arm down into the floor. Pushing the, the arm down into the ground. And then release that push, release, relax that arm and lift the body a few more millimetres up. It doesn't have to come very far. Oh. A few more millimetres up. Now push that left arm into the floor again. Breathing in. Breathing out, release and lift the body up a bit higher. And then relax, let go of that right leg, make it go straight, relax that right arm, and then we're going to change sides. So let that right arm slide away from the body a bit, bring the left arm into our hands next to the chest, turn the eyes to the left, adjust your body so it's comfortable, lift that left knee up, let the right arm slide out, <clears throat> pull that right shoulder back and down, and then lift off this left side, lifting off the left side, push that right arm into the floor, breathing in, breathing out, pushing the right arm down.
and then release with the arm and lift off the left side a bit further. Breathing in, breathing out. Push that right arm into the floor again. Pushing with that right arm. Release with the right arm and then lift that left side a bit further. And then release that left side, bring yourself back down to flat. Rest your forehead on the ground. So lengthening that, just adjust your body so you're straight. Lengthen your legs, clench your bum, push your pubic bone into the floor, tighten your thighs so your knees and feet are off the ground. Draw in the tummy so you lift your lower back up, lifting that tummy off the floor, resting on the bottom rib. Bring those forearms up off the floor and then lower them down. Breathing in. On the out breath, lift those forearms up and lower. Lift those forearms up and lower. Lengthen the legs, don't let them give up. Lift the forearms and arms up. Then lift the whole arm up, elbows off the floor. Then touch the elbow down. So this is the action with the stick. Bring the elbows up, but the hands stay higher than the elbows. So your hands are behind your head. Lift them up and then lower the elbow to the floor. Lift those arms up, lower the elbow to the floor. Lengthen the legs. <coughs> Lift those arms up, hold them there. And then pulse them up higher for three, two, one. And then tuck the elbow down. And then lift the arm up. <clears throat> lengthen the legs so my knees and feet are off the ground resting on the pubic bone pulse those arms up three tummies lifted two one bring those arms down breathing in keep the arms on the floor breathing out lengthen the legs draw in the core and then lift the front of the body up off the ground so we come up into that cobra yeah, just coming up to the bottom rib, so not coming up too high, opening that chest and then releasing back down to the floor. Breathing in on the out breath, push the arms in the ground, lift that chest up, opening that chest, bending that upper back and then lowering down. Good, don't let your tummy push into the floor. Breathing in on the out breath, lift, tummy still elevated, opening that chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together and then lowering down to the ground and then breathing in on the out breath keep the head on the floor lift those arms up hand and elbows up touch the elbow down lengthen the legs knees and feet are off the ground lift those arms up hold them high pulse them up for five for four tummies up three two one hold them here lengthen your body and touch them to the ground. So leave your head and hands on the floor this time. Clenching with the bum, push the pubic bone into the ground. Draw the tummy up. Lift that right leg up for three, for two, for one. And release. Lift the left leg. Three, two, one. And release. Lift the right leg. Three, two, one, and release. Lift the left leg, three, two, one. Hold it here, lift the right leg up, two. Both legs are up, full heads on the ground. Lift both legs up, straight legs, straight legs. Lift them up for three, two, straighten your knees, Jane, one, and lower. So push your feet away from you so your legs are straight. You're lifting your thighs off the ground, not the feet. So lengthen the legs. Lift the right leg up so the thigh comes up. Just clench that bum and release. Lift the left leg. Clench the bum, push the pubic bone in the ground and lift the left leg up. And release. Clench and lift the right leg. And release. More thigh lifting. Clench and lift the left leg. And release, good. Clench and lift the right leg so the thigh comes up, good. 
and release. Make sure your tummy doesn't push in the ground. Lift the left leg up. If the tummy pushes in the ground, you'll compress the lower back and have pain there. Breathing in, breathing out. Bring those hands next to your next to your um, your ribs. Lengthen those legs, clench the bum, push the pubic bone in the ground. Roll those shoulders up to the ears and down. And then push off those arms and come all the way up onto your knees. Shoulders are back. All the way up onto your knees. Open that chest. And then stretch through the hip flexors and lower all the way down. So, Jane, you want more tighter bum, push in those hip flexors, and then engage your... Um, Engage your tummy muscles more so you keep that lower back supported. Roll those shoulders up to the ears, up to the sky, pull them down. Breathing in, lengthen the legs. So clench the bum and push it into the ground. Peel the upper body off the floor, clenching harder with your bum. And then coming up tight with the tummy so the lower back's protected. And lower back down to the floor. Good, rolling over onto your side. I'm going onto my left so I can face you. Onto my left hand side. You can go onto your right if you want to. Yeah, put the underneath leg straight, both arms away. Bring that top leg onto the floor and then slide the foot under the bottom leg. Press the head down, breathing in on the out breath. Take the top arm all the way over. Follow the hand with the eyes and keep this left knee on the ground, trying to get this left shoulder, I'm sorry, this top shoulder on the ground. Sorry, it's my right, my right knee, my right shoulder. Reaching those hands away from you, stretching through that back, bring the arm back together. <laughs> Arms back together, breathing in. On the out breath, open, turning the eyes. Reaching those hands away from each other, stretching. Reaching that, opening that chest. Putting that shoulder to the ground, bringing those arms back together. Breathing in on the out breath, open. Really turning. Turning those eyes. It's amazing how you can do the knees over to the side or you can do all these rotations and they all feel a little bit different. Lengthen the head away from the toes and then bring those arms back together. Untangle your legs, roll yourself onto your back and turn over onto the other side. Underneath leg is straight, top knee is bent. Slide the top foot under the bottom leg. Both hands are on top of each other away from you. Breathing in on the out breath, bring that top arm all the way over. Follow it with the eyes. Keep that knee on the floor. Try and push this top shoulder to the ground. Breathing in, breathing out, lengthen. Bring those hands all the way back on top of each other. Breathing in on the out breath, open. Follow it with your eyes. Pushing the fingers away from each other. Pushing the fingers away from the shoulder. Shoulder away from the hip, hip away from the knee. And then bringing those arms back together. Breathing in, one more, breathing out, open, all the way over, reaching, stretching, lengthening the shoulder away from the hip. Okay, relax those arms, leaving them where they are, bring those knees back, untangle them and bring the knees up above the body lying on your back. So we're gonna do the bridge, slide those fingers, down next to your side. Bring your feet in so they're close enough to your bum. Roll the shoulders up to the ears into the floor, slide them down. Make sure the top ribs on the ground, middle rib, bottom rib, small rise off the uh, lower back. Heels are in the ground, toes are off the ground. Breathing in on the out breath, clench the bum, lift up the tailbone, push the back in the floor, squeeze. Lift those hips up high so that they come up level with your knees. So clench with the bum and push up with those hips, drawing in the tummy so the lower back's protected. So we're opening the hip flexors. Put your hands under your bum and push, see that you can go as high as you, you've gone as high as you can go. Push those fingers down towards the heels 
And then lowering the body one vertebra at a time. Don't let the shoulders lift off the ground. Keep the ribs on the ground as you go down. Arch the back at the bottom. Breathing in, breathing out, lifting. Push through the heels all the way up to the sky. Pelvis up high, reaching those fingers down towards the feet. Breathing in. On the out breath, lowering that body all the way down to the floor again. Arch the back at the bottom. Breathing in on the out breath, heel the back up off the floor, lifting those hips high, pushing those fingers down towards the heels. My toes are off the ground, clenching with the bun, extending, and then lowering the body all the way down to the floor again. Arch the back at the bottom, breathing in, breathing out, squeeze and lift. Push those fingers down towards the heels, lengthening. And then lowering that back down to the floor. Lift the left knee up, lift the right knee up. Bring the knees towards the chest. Loosen that lower back and release. Loosen that lower back and release. Pop those feet back on the ground. Roll the shoulders up to the ears, up to the sky. Pull them down. Sliding the fingers towards the heels. Push through, the, push through these heels. And then clenching the bum, lift that vertebra one at a time, back up into the bridge, holding yourself here. Push through the left heel, lift that right heel off the floor. Keep the toes on the ground, <coughs> lower the right heel down. Lift the right heel up, keep the toes on the ground. Now just flex the foot so you lift that foot off the ground. Put the toes back on, heel back on. Release. Push through the right heel and lift the left heel off the floor and put it down. Then lift the left heel up, flex the foot so the foot comes off the floor, point the toe, touch it on the floor, drop the heel, check you stayed in neutral. Push through the left heel, lift the right heel off the floor. Flex the right foot so you lift the foot up. Put the toes back down, lower that foot. Make sure your hips are horizontal. Lift the left heel off the floor, push through the right leg, flex that left foot. Put the left toes down, rest that heel. Lower the body back down to the ground. Up the knees into the chest, lift that tailbone up. Lift it up, three, two, one. Take the arms out like a scarecrow. Drop the knees to the left, eyes to the right. And bring the knees up and drop them over to the left. Uh, sorry, to the right and turn the eyes to the left. And then bring those legs up. Straighten the legs away. Bring the arms over the head. Reach those fingers from the toes. And then take the hands all the way up into the sky, reaching towards those feet, chin into the chest and roll this up all the way up. And hands on the thighs and then the calves and, and roll yourself forwards. Pull forwards onto your front bottom. Sit yourself up nice and tall. Loosen those shoulders, put the hands on the floor about a foot behind. Soften the elbows, lengthen the legs, pull those elbows together, push off the um, push off the hands so the arms are straight, bring the chest up. So you're opening those shoulder blades and then reaching off those fingers, sit up to tall, grab your stick again. And this time put the stick behind the back in the in the nook of the elbow. So opening the chest through having that there. Feel how it makes your thighs work. So you can bend your knees if you want. Bring the chest up high so I'm nice and loose on this stick on my shoulders back. So I'm going to lean myself forward, keeping my shoulders back. And then I stay up vertical. And then I lean backwards, keeping my shoulders back. And I head up, heads up, eyes up. Bringing up. Bringing up to vertical, leading with the chest, leaning forwards, coming onto that front bottom. 
Sitting up vertical and leaning backwards. Good, and then up vertical. Holding yourself here, turn yourself around to the left. Taking the stick, back to centre. Turning yourself right, so turn from the tummy button and feel that the stick stays in the same place on your back. Come back to centre, turning round to the left. Turn from the tummy button. Come back to centre. Turn from the right. Come back to centre. Bring that stick around in front of you. Push it forwards. Get yourself up tall. Bring the stick back to the chest, shoulders back. Push the stick up to the sky. Reaching that chest up. Bring the stick down behind your back. Good. Take the stick away from behind you. No, away backwards, mum, backwards. Oh, come on. Touch it on your shoulders. Oh. Push the stick up high. Bring it down in front. Slide forward, pop it over your toes. You bend your knees. Bend your knees, put the stick over your toes. Yep, and then push the toes away and you stretch through those shoulders. Release. Bring the stick off the feet up vertical. Slide backwards. Slide forwards. Slide backwards. Hold here. Turn yourself round to the right. Yep. Yeah. Come back to centre. Turn yourself round to the left. Back to centre. Sit up vertical. You can soften the knees. So you can start. This is the easiest place to do this. Shoulders back, mum, chin up. Turn round to the right. Yeah, chests up, back to centre, turn around to the left, back to centre. Oh, crikey. <laughs> Bring the stick up above your head. <laughs> Last one, up above your head. <laughs> Bring that stick down behind your back. So you're getting a straight back, opening those shoulders. Push that stick up above you. Bring it down in front and put it on the floor. Well done. Oh, thank goodness for that. Well done. Get rid of that stick. Oh. Okay, hold on to behind your thighs. So you can see how your shoulders, you can see how your post, one's posture starts to press a lot. So you've got a, it's a real effort to hold it open. Yeah. I think when I started doing flat dressage type riding, I realised how hard it was to sit up straight. So push those seat bones into the floor here and push that head up to the sky and lengthen your body. Rolling those shoulders back, push that right knee down and release. Push that left knee down and release. So just gradually try to get those knees closer and closer to the floor, but don't compromise your back. So Dana, I'd rather you had your knees up here and mm -hmm. you're pulling forward onto that front bottom pushing onto those seat bones and stretching that body up. And then you gradually just try to push those knees down, but you're not allowed to do this as you do that. You've got to stand up tall. So you get the hamstring straightening or, stre or stretching against the neutral spine. Okay, pushing the knees down. Sit yourself up nice and tall. Roll those shoulders, drop the hands on the floor behind you. Now put the legs down, so pull those knees into the floor, tighten the thighs and pull your kneecaps up towards your tummy, pull those toes up towards your nose. Breathing in on the out breath, straighten your arms, push that breastbone high, so tighten the thighs, pull the kneecaps up, draw in the tummy and lift the chest up and then clench the bum, push the feet into the floor and lift yourself up like a Barbie doll, nice and straight. Good, push the good heels down and then lower the bum down. So we do three of them. So breathe in on the out breath, heels in the floor, bum lifts up. Breathe in here, breathe out and lower. 
One more. Breathe in. Breathe out, push the heels down, lift the bum up. Lifting with the bum, breathing in at the top. Breathe out and lower. Good, sitting up tall. Fly forwards. Fly back and roll all the way down to flat. So curl the back, curl, curl, no thumping, curling, curling, curling. Take those arms all the way over your head. Reach your fingers away from your toes. Bring that right knee in towards your body, in towards your chest. Pull that right knee over, push that right arm away, turn the eyes to the right. Reaching, stretching. And then roll over onto that left hand side. Bend those knees up. Neutral spine and bring that top knee up and down. 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 Two more. Up. Down. One more. Up. Hold it up high. Hold us up in the air higher with that knee, mum. Okay, top leg backwards. Two, three, four, five. So open this up here, opening the hips. Six, seven, one more, opening the hip. Eight, feet together, down and up. Squeeze and open, down, squeezing and open the thighs here. Two. Down and up, three. High as you can with that leg. Down, up, four. Five, three more. Six, seven. Hold it up at eight. Take the whole leg backwards. Eight, seven, six. Don't move the pelvis. Five, four. Three, two, one, feet together and lower it all the way down. Roll over onto the other side. It's sunny here now. Nice. I know the sun's trying to come out here, but it's not quite got there. Rolling onto the other side, nice straight spine. Hand can be on the hip, no rolling if that spine backwards, lift the top knee up. And down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold it up, take the whole leg back. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Feet together, down and up. See if you can open your knees a bit wider. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it up at eight. Take it away, eight, seven. Knee, move the knee more down, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Roll yourself over onto your back. Bring your knees into your chest. Lift that tailbone up and release. Bring the knees into the chest, lift the tailbone up and release. Bring the knees in, release. Take the arms out like a scarecrow. One more, drop the knees to the left, eyes to the right. Breathing in on the out breath, bring those knees up, drop them to the right, eyes to the left. And then come up with those legs. Take those legs out straight. 
Bring those arms all the way up to the sky. Chin into the chest. Roll yourself all the way up. Reach towards those feet. Soften those knees. Pull yourself forward. Release. Sit yourself up nice and tall. Push those knees into the ground. Pull forwards onto your front bottom. Or push, put your hands by your, by your bum, push yourself forward, roll those shoulders back. Big roll through the shoulders and the arms, all the way up to the sky. All the way up, keep those arms up above the head, touch the fingers together. Bring those thumbs down to touch your forehead. Pull your tummy forward, bring your breastbone up. Reach those hands up into the sky. Lighten the thighs and pull those knees to the floor. Release, bring those arms all the way around. Rest them on your legs and roll your shoulders. Oh, yeah. Mm. Well done. Well, that was meant to be easier. That was easier. That, apart from the stick, it was easier. I found the stick.